Hello guys, so in this video I'm going to show you a tutorial and a review on how to use Pally Social, uh, a social media marketing software for marketers and agencies. At the end of the video I'm going to discuss some of the pros, the cons of using Pally and I'm also going to give you some free alternative software that you can use to schedule your social media content. So let's get started. At the first step you want to do is to import your media or your files into the scheduler but if you want to save time and work more efficiently i recommend that you create your images in canva or other digital um, software that allows you to create square posts that fit the instagram uh, profile and then bulk import them into uh, pally or your social media scheduling tool now that i have all the images ready it's time for me to plan the grid so here I'm just uh, going and uh, plucking the images into the visual planner and once I'm done I'm going to be able to sync it to the calendar so this is one feature that it's available on the pro plans only that allows you to uh, write the captions for your posts into the grids feature and then you can copy them to your calendar ready for scheduling To schedule a post all you have to do is to drag an image from the left side of the screen and drop it onto the calendar This will open up a pop-up pop box that will allow you to write captions add hashtags uh, and locations to your post if you want to schedule the post into multiple platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn, you can just uh, click the copy caption function and it will paste it onto all the other apps. The final step is to choose a date and time of posting and then I can either schedule the post or I can save it as a draft if I feel that I need approval from a client to post it. Now that I have a full month of content, let's talk about other fun features that I think you would like on Pally. Best Times to Post is a new feature that gives you access to some real cool data about your followers' activity times. The Grid Preview also allows you to see how your posts are going to look on Instagram after you post them. And if you go to more settings, you can choose your time zone to be set as a default or a posting time that uh, your post will automatically be scheduled at that time. Now that you know how to schedule a post on Pally, let's talk about the pros and cons. One of my favorite features on Pally is the ability to schedule the same post across several networks without having to do double the work. So, uh, besides that, I also like the calendar view that allows me to see which days I have um, scheduled content and which days I can do something else. Perhaps I can uh, do a blog post or something different. I also like their analytics features and the ability to generate and export reports and share calendar links with clients. All of this makes my work as a social media manager uh, much faster and I have all the tools without having to use an additional platform. And finally, in terms of cost, uh, Pally is one of the most affordable social media schedulers given that it allows you to post on multiple networks, manage multiple clients and uh, with a reasonable cost. Now I want to cover some of the limitations of Pally Social. Uh, the app doesn't auto post on Instagram Stories, Reels or TikTok. So for this, you will need to download a separate app and then you will receive notifications for when it's time to post. Um, also, the free trial, it only lasts for the first 15 posting, that is not enough. You probably need more time and won't be able to test even the best features, which are the detailed analytics and uh, Instagram grids and templates. Lastly, if you're a total beginner, you've never scheduled content for any of these platforms, I think you'll find uh, the tools are too complex and there are too many features involved that you may not even ever use. With that being said, let's talk about some alternatives. The closest competitor to Pally is Buffer. I feel they have the same dedication to scheduling content, analytics and engagement tools. Uh, pricing wise, they're also quite similar. It's just a matter of which dashboard do you prefer. 
for those looking for even more analytics and reporting, competitive analysis and uh, social media listening tools, I highly recommend Sprout Social. I feel it's much more complex and complete in terms of analytics. However, it also costs much, much more than starting at 100 US dollar per month. I hope you like this video and make sure you follow me on Instagram for more social media tips and tools.